starting with the next topic that is principles of suturing so what do you mean by suture suture it is a thread like material with the help of which you can approximate the tissues together or you can ligate the blood vessels moving towards the principles so the first principle is you should always hold the needle with the help of needle holder at approximately 3/4 of its distance from the tip of the needle because if you are holding it at the end there are chances of breakage as it is the weakest point the next is the needle it should always pierce the tissue at 90 degree if you are increasing that angle if it is going more obliquely there are chances of tissue tear the next principle is so in this the needle it should be following the curvature whenever you are passing it through the tissue now the needles that we are using they are curved in shape if you are not following that curvature it may lead to breakage of the needle the next principle is now the sutures they should be placed equidistant from the incision of the suture line so it is approximately 2 to 3 mm from the line and the depth of penetration it should also be equal on both the sides now always avoid passing the needle through both the sides together as it may lead to tearing so first you should pass the needle from first or the first half and then the second half now in this the needle it should always pass from the mobile tissue to the fixed then it should pass from thinner to thicker tissue and lastly it should pass from the deeper to the superficial tissues next principle is so the distance from the incision point to the needle penetration it should always be less than the depth of penetration to prevent eversion of the margins now the next principle is the sutures they should not be so tight that it leads to strangulation or blanching of the tissues now the next principle is knots they should not be placed on the margins next is whenever you are placing the knots in the mandible so it should be placed on the buccal aspect so as to avoid irritation to the tongue and once the needle it exits the wounds only round about 2 to 3 cm of the tail end should be remaining next principle is so each suture it should be placed 3 to 4 mm apart so this depends on the type of tissue you are suturing usually between two suture the distance is 3 to 4 mm now the next principle is now whenever the length of the tissue it is longer on one side and it is shorter on the other so there are chances of the dog ear formation now how can you avoid this so in this the excessive tissue it should be undermined and an incision is placed at 30 degree to the original incision and whatever the extra tissue is you are going to place over the incision and you are going to excise it and you are going to suture it now the next principle is so whenever you are removing the suture it should be cut as near as possible to the mucosa because if you are cutting it at a very long distance there are chances of infection now lastly i just want to mention about the book that we have that is the dme book of all you need to know about suturing so this book it is made out of many good references which contains everything about suturing so if you are interested in buying you can just dm us so that was all about it thank you so much